Good morning, everybody. Pastor Wes here, and this is our daily devotional, My Utmost for Satana, episode 18 for the 16th of April. Our passage of Scripture comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 35 and 36. They say this, Then Jesus told them, You are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, before darkness overtakes you. The man who walks in the dark does not know where he is going. Put your trust in the light while you have it, so that you may become sons of the light. Words of Jesus himself. Have you ever had those moments when God was just incredibly, profoundly, wonderfully real? When I look back on my life, I can think of five or six moments where uh, the, the, the presence of God, the realness of God was so overwhelming that, it, that it, it was just, it was reality without any question. And it was wonderful. And, and they're obviously unforgettable because I still remember them today. Uh, last summer, May, I was going through a uh, particularly painful time. Uh, personally and professionally, I was hurting. And we had just done the funeral for a good friend of mine, a man named Don Evans, who had passed away from cancer. And I went back to my office after we had finally uh, said goodbye to everybody and cleaned up the church. And somehow or another, I had to sit down and work on a sermon. And I just knew my heart and my mind weren't in the right place. And so I uh, went in my office and I closed the door and I prayed and I put on some worship music. And I just tried to, I don't know, get in a different place. And, and God came and visited me and <laughs> and, I, and I had just this incredible experience of the presence of God it was just so good and all the hurt and all the pain all the suffering all the doubt it just it was gone there was only goodness in the presence of the Lord have you had a moment like that wouldn't it be great if every moment was like that <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> I, uh, I, could, <laughs> I could use a day like that right now. Uh, being, in, being stuck at home day after day after day and not being able to do the things I want to do and the things that I feel called to do is, is difficult. Uh, and I would love to feel like that. Um, but I don't. And so I guess you could take it two ways. I know a lot of people, they have those moments and perhaps uh, when they get saved. Where God is real and it's powerful and it's moving. And then as the days pile up, it's like, well, am I doing something wrong? Why don't I feel like that all the time? Why don't I feel like that more? And so you could look at that and say, well, um, I must have made it up. Or uh, if God is real, then he clearly isn't for me because he's, he's left me. But I think scripture tells us maybe something else. This passage, Jesus is telling us, Believe in the light while the light is with you. Believe in me while I'm with you because darkness is coming. There's going to be days when I'm not just right here in this same way. And you can't just look and feel and talk and believe. And so for me, when I look back on those moments in my life, and I said there's a number of them, uh, they are powerful reminders of how good and real God is for those days when it's a little harder. And each of those moments that I had really was life transforming. They taught me something profound or they compelled me. And so today, even though I'm not having that same moment of worship by myself in the office that I did that, that last summer, uh, I can still draw strength from that and clarity from that and purpose from that. Uh, I think, too, those uh, experiences, they, they pull us onward. They draw us onward. They say, you know, a life with Christ can have more moments like that and could perhaps have more and more moments like that over time, that, that journey of sanctification. And, and, and we want them. Man, those moments are wonderful, and, and we want them. And, of course, we can't make them happen. It's a matter of grace, and grace comes from Jesus Christ. And so just as grace called us out of sin and grace transforms us, grace calls us onward to glory and ultimately home. We don't control that, but we can desire it. And we can pursue it. We can do what is within our means to seek God and devote ourselves to God and to serve God, and we should. And finally, I think those moments are just a little tiny bit of a taste of what heaven might be like. Because, man, when I was in the presence of God, there was no bad thing. There was love, and there was peace, and there was joy, and there was completeness, like 
like nowhere else. And all the things around me that were affecting me, that were hurting me, they didn't exist because there was only good in God. And uh, that's a powerful encouragement in the midst of dark days. So take courage, folks. Remember those times when the light was with you strongly and completely so that you have the strength and the courage and the direction to carry forth in times of darkness. Until we meet again, God bless you.